Hi guys. So as you know, I will be getting meat chicks very soon and I have a rabbit cage in the backyard that has three different sections and it would be perfect to separate these 30 chicks into so they all have room and I have plenty of heat lamps. So my plan is to clean out this whole area under here. This is our bar area. I don't drink so I don't need this area. Um, my husband doesn't really spend any time out here either. He really just uses it to take his motors apart for his mixer. He buys Honda motors and then he kind of, um, fixes them to go on his mixer. So, um, he's usually doing that. Um, but right now I need this area for those meat chicks that are coming on the 25th. Um, I want to take that cage from back there and move it up here. Um, and... It's going to be next to the outlet where they can have their heat limits plugged in at. And I'm thinking about getting a plug. Um, there is a plug that um, Inkbird makes. I think it's plug and play thermostat where it actually you can control it where it, you plug in your heat lamps and then it'll go on and off. He'll use it for the reptiles. I have one for my hedgehog. Um, cause they have to stay above 75 degrees. Um, so that would be perfect for in here, um, next to the outlet, have the cage, have it set up. So my goal right now is just to get everything off the floor, the ground, um, and off this table. I already cleaned this whole bore off. It, this is where the chickens roost at, so it's pretty gross. Um, but I got it cleaned up and I got some crates over here, um, getting set up to put all these big things over here and then I have the crate set up for the small things. So that is what I'm going to be doing today and I'll show you as I get it done. So this is the progress that I got done so far today. Had a table cleaned off and moved over here. And that's pretty much it. But my husband came home early today because he had some things that he had to do um, in town. But when he got to work this morning, he found these two little baby kittens, it's a boy and a girl. Their eyes were literally, like, sealed shut with infection. And he had to wipe them down with water to get their eyes open. And when he did, just infection just, like, rushed out of their eye sockets. And so, the little girl is a lot worse than the boy. I gave them some antibiotic that I have. Um, they're just skin and bones. We did feed them some soft canned food but they wanted to eat all of it at like one time and so I had to stop them um because I didn't want them to like get sick and they're maybe three three to four weeks old probably just three weeks old um they're actually tiny like you can like they can both fit in my hand at the same time um and so I have a litter box in there I have some water in there I was just worried that they would eat so much that they would get sick um, because they are really thin, um, and overall not very healthy at all, but I'll feed them again a little bit, um, in a little while, but these poor babies, my husband sent me a video, and I was like, do they have a house? He's like, no, and he called me, he says, if you want them, I'll bring them to you, and you can take care of them, and I was like, yeah, I need them. They are outside, because McClovio did get pneumonia recently, and the vet did tell me that um, it's possible that it was transmitted from some kittens that I had rescued, um, which I treated, um, the one that looked like this, and so I'm assuming this is, like, some kind of, um, something contagious, so they will be staying outside, um, until they are healthy, and then I will find them a home, but like I said, they have a litter box in there, they haven't used it yet, but they've been in here for, like, two or three hours now, so the, they, I really don't think that they've had any any, um, good source of food their whole life, probably. They probably just was nursing a mama. Um, they were still smacking their tongues like they were trying to suck up the wet kitten feed. So, poor babies. They, uh, malnourished. And they just need some good groceries and some good antibiotics. They're so cute. It's a boy and a girl. This one's a boy. And this one's a girl. Yeah, that's for we'll my touch them, okay? Brother. They're yucky. They have food all it over them because brother. they walked all over it. That was my brother. Yeah? Yeah, he's being nice. Yeah? He's not by me. Alrighty, y'all. Uh, it, it seems like I probably haven't done a whole lot, but we just now got done moving some rabbit cages. I finally have my rabbit tree the way that I want it. Me. 
I finally have the rabbit tree the way that I want it. And, um, we're exhausted, so we're gonna go ahead and go inside. And leave you on this sweet little note right here. These little babies that we rescued. Poor little babies. Aww. Thanks for watching, everybody. God be blessed. Bye.